This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Sway in the morning, Shave 4 5. You know, the internet has been a buzz since yesterday, I believe it is. Amber Rose has been at the center of a lot of this buzz that's been going on the internet. Yeah. It's almost like she launched a campaign against the very magazine that gave her a lot of exposure, GQ. GQ, one of my favorite, the top freaking glossies out there. And you know, Amber was really upset with a story. She has an awesome story in this month's GQ, November issue. And she's upset about the opening lines. Yeah. Carrie Batten is the writer. And in Amber's eyes, this was a backhanded compliment. Let me read you a couple of the words. She says, Amber Rose wrote the book on it. No serious Kanye's infamous ex. Wiz Khalifa's baby mama. America's toughest bald babe. She's talking about how she's publishing a book of life lessons, how to be a bad bitch. And she mentions how she was a teen stripper. She's now with this megalomaniac muse. Well, she's the megalomaniac maniac muse. And um, yeah, she spoke to Carrie Batten about her beautiful dark twisted journey to the top yeah then amber even commented on that she did she took it to the instagram street she said really gq i'm so much more than kanye's egg wiz's baby mama damn why the fuck did you guys reach out to me for this article and photo shoot was it to dumb me down i talked about feminism and my swap which i should point out they are both mentioned in the story i did read a good chunk of the actual story and then she was just really upset she said i was so excited to be featured in gq not realizing i was shooting for a tabloid and now we have the writer herself because you know we always want to have both sides of the story you've heard from amber and now it's time to hear from carrie batten carrie how you doing welcome to the show hi thanks for having me absolutely what were your thoughts when you first heard amber's reaction to your article um you know i was a little disappointed but i also you know i understand she's someone who um, is frustrated by constantly sort of being defined by her relationship to men. But at the same time, I also thought it was it was a pretty strategic and savvy move on her on her part to to go and home in on this one part of the uh, part of the piece and post it on Instagram. If you notice, she cut out the title of the piece, which was actually How to Be a Bad Bitch, which is the title of her book, kind of, you know, the highest praise we could have given her. But I think I, it's hard to tell whether, whether she, how can she... Whoa, you know. whoa, Carrie whoa, swinging! Whoa, 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 whoa. Carrie swinging. Go ahead. What, what do you mean that, that was the, the What do you mean praise. the highest praise was How to Be a Bad Bitch? Hallelujah. No, no. I mean, well, that's the title of her book. Okay. Yeah. Free promo. Direct promo. Yeah. Um, she's Wiz Khalifa's ex-wife. What, what, what made you say baby mama? Um, so that, I mean, I, I did not write that part, but, you know, magazines in general, they, they tend to be in the, the little summary at the top of a story. They tend to be cheeky. They tend to say funny, cute things that will draw a reader in, and then hopefully the reader will be enticed to sort of get the full picture. Yeah, because in magazine world, there's the headline, which is called The Head, yeah. and then there's the deck, and that's supposed to be like the big selling point, so you actually do read this 1,000-word-plus story. Um, so, Carrie, why don't you speak a little bit about the actual intention behind the story? Right. Um, so, I mean, Amber is interesting because she's in this, this sort of middle ground between her past and her what she would like to be her her future um and she she's known for dating famous rappers but she also has obviously a lot to say on her own she's very charismatic and smart um and she she's sort of discovered feminism in the last couple of years and she has a lot of great things to say about it and my goal was to find a way to explain to people um sort of the challenges that she's facing um in sort of transitioning between these two phases of her life and um, sort of like what her her feminist standpoint is and, and how it ties into what people know so her. So you have the head and you have the deck. And the mm -hmm. editor writes that part. The head. Yeah. And the deck. Okay, so what if you don't agree with the way the head is written? Mm -hmm. You don't have no say-so in that, Carrie? Mm -hmm. I, know it's a, I mean, it's a collaboration. It's a conversation um, throughout the, the, uh, the process of the piece. Okay, did you see, so you were fine with Baby Mama? Was there ever, like, a conversation about that one line? You know, I don't remember if there was a conversation about that one line or not. Um, I read the doc, and, you know, I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, Baby Mama, it can be taken as, a, as an insult. It can be taken as a, a little funny, funny line. Um, I can see how some people would, would 
would be offended by it. But at the end of the day, I think if if Amber sits down and reads the story, which I, I hope she has, um, she will see that, you know, we did right by her and that we, we really contextualized her and, and, you know, told her story. It, does this help, though? Like at the end of the day, Amber going on this campaign is bringing more viewership to your uh, yeah. to your article. Right. So you guys don't mind this. I mean, I, I wish that she had brought more viewership to the article. If if this if this ends in more people actually going and reading the article and saying, "Oh, this is what Amber Rose has to say about feminism and her slut walk," um, that's one thing. But um, I, I would have liked her maybe to to have you know explored explored the piece a little bit more in depth. But as we know, it was her birthday yesterday, so I'm hoping she didn't really have the time or the energy to. To sit down and pick a story, right? Oh, she really knows her. <laughs> she you know, Carrie's like it was her birthday yesterday, Sway. She, she needed went time to her for that crib. Shit. Yeah. yeah, Amber is living in like Nas's old mansion. Um, but Carrie, I'm wondering, is GQ planning on an apology or anything like that? I mean, I, I don't really think there's. I, I mean, do you think that there's something to apologize for? Hmm. Well, I think since the piece wasn't meant to um, offend her, and since you guys were saying how the word, the term baby mama is rather polarizing, you know what I mean? Just to kind of explain right. the meaning behind that. Not that I think you're obligated, but just wondering. No, I mean, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine that. I think, I think if there's any sort of explanation or apology, it, it all lies within the story. Um, and, and I think that the story speaks for itself at this point. What made you guys decide to do this story on Amber in the first place? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, ha- I have been following her for a really long time. I was a big fan of her social media presence. And I-, I mean, I knew her through Kanye and I got really excited when she kind of entered this new. Do you guys follow her on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Yes. So- mm-hmm. You've seen her <laughs> um, pictures? Come on. It's, <laughs> it's hard not to follow her. Hey. Yeah. So in the last year. That's <laughs> why. Yeah. I saw the one on the hotel balcony. What are you asking yeah. me here, Carrie? Yeah. Come on. Of course we follow her. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Oh, be- oh, God, Getting distracted. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. What were you saying? I'm sorry, Carrie. Yeah, I'm, I'm, she just like has. She's come to life in the last year. Um, since since she and Wiz split, I think she's just really come into her own, and she's just become this like incredibly outspoken person. She's hilarious. Um, and she also started popping up other places. She was on the Amy Schumer show and she decided to publish a book that David LaChapelle shot the cover for. So I think all those things, um, did me. So I, I, you know, I pitched the story tied to the book and here we are. Okay. Well, uh, the, the cover story is Taylor uh, Swift. Taylor Swift. How about that? Taylor Swift. Though, <laughs> Carrie? Oh, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I love Taylor too. Um, well, thank you, Carrie, for explaining that. Yeah. This, this, is, this is unusual. We don't usually get folks calling call in and explain what, yeah. what they meant behind a, a headline or an article. All right, Carrie, thank you. Thank you. for right, thank uh, you. Anything else you want to add? No, I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>